The Boulder White Clouds here in central Idaho are an absolutely phenomenal landscape. In the Boulder White Clouds alone, we have over 150 peaks that reach 10,000 feet into the sky or more. Um, this area is also home to the highest elevation and longest running salmon and steelhead migrations in the entire world. So if you were to travel into the Boulder White Clouds, you would see one of the largest wild unprotected areas left in the lower 48 states. You would see pristine high alpine lake basins filled with huge trout, ample opportunities for hunting and fishing. It's a truly remarkable area. So my wife Mary and I, we've been lucky to travel all around the country. We've been to almost every state. We've hiked and camped in more than 100 different places. And we've spent the last few days here in Boulder White Clouds in Idaho. I have to say that it is one of the most beautiful, breathtaking, spectacular places you're ever gonna see. The recreational values here are enormous. The wildlife that you can see here, it's just breathtaking. And this is one of the places that clearly is a national treasure. And it's one of the places that very clearly needs to be protected. The major threat to the Boulder White Clouds right now, I think, is motorized recreation. Uh, the trail in back of you is the most popular hiking trail in, in the entire area. Other things that threaten the landscape, mining is an ever-growing threat in Idaho. Much of the Boulder White Clouds is not protected today from future mining development and mining claims. The Boulder White Clouds has a really long conservation history. For more than 40 years, conservationists from here in Idaho and across the nation have been working to protect the wilderness values and the wilderness character that exists in the Boulder White Clouds. Unfortunately, despite collaborative efforts, we haven't been able to get any bills through Congress to actually get this job done. The best news about Boulder White Clouds is that we have an opportunity to protect this entire area permanently for future generations. President Obama has the authority under the Antiquities Act to designate Boulder White Clouds as a national monument. He has an opportunity to permanently protect Boulder White Clouds for now and for future generations. Wild places in the United States um, are, are something that we as all Americans should really cherish because we're not making any new ones. I think people have always wanted to protect places like this because they know that there are people that are going to come after them. Here in Idaho, we have a national treasure in Boulder White Clouds. Protecting these landscapes for now and for future generations not only gives us an opportunity to explore and enjoy and, and to protect nature, but it also gives us an opportunity to create new economic growth. This is part of what makes our country great. This is part of the reason why people come to our country, to see places that they can't see anywhere else in the world. And this is an area that has to be protected for people in Idaho, but really for people all across the country and around the world.